everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well so as you guys can tell by the title today i'm going to be reviewing the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation i've got quite a few requests for this foundation so i finally bit the bullet bite the bullet but the but the bullet and I decided to go ahead and purchase this foundation I purchased it off of Superbalist for about 147 Rand um, I will let you guys know how much it generally would cost though so let me hop on to the interwebs okay cool so this foundation is definitely like 147 Rand um, at this camp it's 146 Rand 95 so quite affordable I would say and I want to go ahead and just look for some of the claims that this foundation makes. Okay, so I'm on the Catrice website just to get a little description of this foundation. It says high but natural looking coverage, ultra light liquid texture, and it gives you a perfect complexion for up to 24 hours. This formula is also vegan. Also, you guys, I apologize if the lighting changes throughout this video it's very gloomy outside so i'm trying to balance out the lighting as best as i can so let's just hop into this foundation now this foundation comes with a dropper which is great because you can control the amount of liquid that comes out of here very sanitary as well so i'm just gonna drop a few drops on my cheek Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a. I don't prime my face. Um, okay, so we're gonna prime half of my face since I forgot to prime my full face. What? So I'm just gonna use my Revlon Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Reducing Primer. Okay, so I'm just gonna prime one half of my face. You guys can see this is a beautiful matte primer, and then I'm just gonna go in with my flat top brush and just blend this foundation in okay so right off the bat i will say i probably could have done with a shade that was slightly darker but you guys can see none of my blemishes are peeking through this foundation which is great which shows us that the coverage is impeccable so next i'm going to apply three drops to the side of my face again and now we're gonna go in with a sponge to see how a sponge applies this foundation I don't know why but for me sponges are not my favorite because I feel like they suck up a lot of the product so I'm just gonna go add a little bit more foundation because it's definitely a more medium coverage with the sponge. Definitely a lot better coverage with a brush as opposed to a sponge. Again, personally, I think I would have preferred something a smidge darker. But it's okay. It's fine. Okay, so I will say now that I have foundation all over the face, I do think that this foundation is a very nice natural matte finish. I would say it's medium to full. I'm going to try and go in with a little bit more in like my problematic areas. I seem to have more blemishes on this side of my face, which is peeking through more than this side. So I'm just going to add a second layer of foundation. Just to see how well it covers. Yeah, it's definitely a full coverage. You can see from this side of my face, now that I've built up the coverage to this side, you can see the coverage is a little more intense and it just looks bright. Okay, so first impressions of this foundation. I really like the way it's sitting on the skin. We're just going to ignore the shade right now. Hopefully it will look better like once we've highlighted and concealed and bronzed up the face. Um... I really do like the finish of this foundation though. It is beautiful. It's not clinging onto dry patches. I think it really did a good job with covering up the 5 o'clock shadow I can usually get in this area right here. So yeah. And yeah, this foundation is looking a lot better now that I've brought some color into my face. The reason why, I mean, you guys at home may feel two different ways. You may feel like it suits me perfectly. You may feel like it's a bit too light. Personally, I feel like 
in person right now with the way my body looks and the way my whole face looks right now i could get away with it the reason why i felt like it was too light in the beginning it may have oxidized just a little bit which is why it's looking like uniform with like my chest and my neck but i prefer usually to go for a darker shade of foundation even though it's darker than my face i just want my face my neck and my chest to look a little bit uniform so i go a little bit darker on my face so that it doesn't stand out against my neck because that's pretty much what's happening now unless i do this you would have said oh my god that's too light if i do this too light if i do this match as well so Matching foundation shades give me stress, honestly. The time right now is 11.48 and I am going to try and do a wear test of this foundation for as long as I can. It says up to 24 hour wear, but we're going to see how it wears. I'm going to go ahead off of camera, do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay everyone, I am back and the time right now is 12.23 and I've had this foundation on for about half an hour at this point. I'm dropping stuff. I really love the way this foundation looks right now. I feel like it is a really good shade. It's a really good golden warm shade. Um, I just really love how it looks. It looks pretty decent on the skin. It definitely has a second skin feeling so it says on the bottle a second skin effect and it definitely looks like my skin but better it also says on the bottle it's mattifying and waterproof and sweat proof so i feel like in summer this would also be a really good addition to your collection it feels very lightweight on the skin and the coverage is just impeccable i love it so much so we're gonna see how this foundation wears throughout the day it does saying mattifying and all that good stuff which is definitely what i need in a foundation because i am an oily skin girl so yeah i'm really excited to see how this foundation wears um throughout the day and i shall keep you guys posted i will see you guys in a little bit for our first check-in okay everyone so the time right now is 7.33 so I've had this foundation on for going on 8 hours? 8 hours at this point and I will say this is what the foundation looks like I haven't touched up the other day I was actually doing like a contact lens try on haul situation so I was like tugging in this area and you can see like even my concealer hasn't moved um I will note some creasing within my smile lines, if you guys can see that. I will say though that I didn't bake as heavily in my smile lines as I usually do. I will note that there is no difference between the primed side and the non-primed side. I have a little bit of a glow in the center of my forehead and the center of my face but i will say it's just a slight glow it's nothing too hectic or too crazy i can just like dab it away and i can get a good few hours off wear otherwise um so yeah for eight hours of wear this is really not a bad foundation at all it's really quite affordable um I would say the only problematic area for me has to definitely be my smile lines but again that's not something that's like a make or break for me because I just know I have to bake properly the next time. I think that overall this shade is like my exact skin tone shade but it does match my body and all of that stuff pretty well. If you are a little bit picky about your foundation shade you may want to go maybe a shade darker in this foundation. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a good shade with bronzing and all of that stuff. I don't think it's it's a bad shade at all. I definitely would probably get a shade darker, especially for like summer. Because we're going into from spring into summer now. So I'm going to be maybe getting a little bit more tan. So I would definitely maybe get a shade darker. Other than that, I think that this formula is actually really nice. I have a little bit of dryness around my nose area, so this foundation is clinging onto those dry patches. But it's nothing a little bit of exfoliation can't do. Um, and yeah, I have to say, I've seen quite a few reviews of this foundation. And it definitely lives up to the hype. I mean, it lasts super long on the skin. It looks quite decent, even on like the areas where I have breakouts and stuff. Like it's not like clinging for dear life or making it look crusty or anything of that sort. 
so yeah that is it for my first impressions and review of this catrice liquid coverage hd foundation if you're looking for something that's skin like if you're looking for a fenty or a stay naked urban decay dupe that is affordable. I mean, this is 147 Rand. I highly recommend this. I think it is very well worth it for the price point. And yeah, if you guys are loving this foundation, comment down below and let me know what your shade is and how you are enjoying it. Just so that I can kind of explore the shades. I don't have an entire shade range of this foundation. I literally just picked this off of a website and going off somebody else's skin type as well or shade range, which I'm not mad at this shade. I just wish my neck was not as dark as it is right now. Oh yeah, really enjoyed this foundation. That is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay all day, every day with and without makeup and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.